This is the Cholo News Report for Wednesday 06, March, 2019. Packages containing suspected improvised explosive devices are found near Heathrow Airport, London City Airport, and London Waterloo Station in London, England. Fortunately these packages only appear to be designed to start, a very small fire the one that went off just melted part of its own plastic envelope, and the other two were not opened. But there is sufficient concern about today's incidents, for them to be investigated as a linked series by Scotland Yard's Counter-Terrorism Command. This means the full weight of resources and expertise of one of the world's most experienced counter-terrorism teams will be trying to get to the bottom of who sent the packages and why. Japanese architect Arata Isazaki is announced as the winner of the 2019 Pritzker Prize. Possessing a profound knowledge of architectural history and theory, and embracing the avant-garde, who never merely replicated the status quo, it said. The Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles, and the Palori St. Jordi Indoor Sporting Arena in Barcelona, are among more than 100 of his major projects. And if Positive Man, identified as the London patient, is the second known adult, worldwide cleared of the HIV virus, after a bone marrow transplant from an ever assistant donor. He has been in remission from HIV for 18 months, and is no longer taking HIV drugs. Ten years ago, another patient in Berlin, received a bone marrow transplant from a donor with natural immunity to the virus. Timothy Brown, said to be the first person to beat HIV AIDS, was given two transplants and total body irradiation for leukemia, a much more aggressive treatment. Prof. Eduardo Olaveria, also involved in the research, from Imperial College London, said the success of stem cell transplantation offered hope that new strategies could be developed to tackle the virus. Modern drug treatments for HIV have transformed an infection that was once a death sentence into a condition that can be managed long-term if people adhere to a lifelong medication regimen. The case is a proof of the concept that scientists will one day be able to end AIDS, the doctors said, but it does not mean a cure for HIV has been found. Scientific research into the complex virus has in recent years led to the development of drug combinations that can keep it at bay in most patients. United States Food and Drug Administration Commissioner Scott Gottlieb announces his resignation in the next month. During his tenure as commissioner, Gottlieb approved a record number of treatments and drugs, and advanced policies to confront opioid addiction and prevent youth e-cigarette use. Gottlieb previously worked as a senior advisor to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and was appointed by the Senate to serve on the Federal Health Information Technology Policy Committee. Gottlieb is also a cancer survivor, a venture capitalist and a government insider who long said, he wanted to tear down the wall of FDA regulations that he believes is holding back innovation.